The pre-design information gathering stage is critically important to any design challenge. An extensive review of available documents has helped us to gain a deeper understanding of the False Creek Flats and adjacent areas. We would like to acknowledge that the False Creek Flats is located within the unceded Coast Salish territories on Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh, and Squamish lands. Heavy industry lined the shores of False Creek in the early 1900s, decimating the waters and natural environment with pollution and toxic waste. By 1917, the eastern section of low-lying flats was filled in to make way for a major rail yard which would eventually take over the flats as we know them today. The decline in use of the railway in recent decades poses significant challenges for the future of this area. There are several heritage sites within the Falls Creek Flats district, including several buildings of significant cultural importance. The surrounding neighborhoods of Strathcona, Grandview Woodlands, and Mount Pleasant are established residential communities with historic ties. Southeast Falls Creek is a new residential community currently establishing its identity. There are over 600 businesses from a variety of sectors ranging from city services to food distribution, construction to high tech. There are four main categories, arts and education, retail and business offices, green space and community gardens, manufacture and wholesale. Several zoning types are found in the Falls Creek Flats area. To the north, residential zones retain pre-1920s architectural heritage. Along the north end of Main Street, primarily high-density mixed-use commercial zoning is found. Light industrial zoning for advanced technology, live arts and theatre, as well as some residential, is found in the southwest corner. Site-specific bylaws tailor-made to the intended form of development can be found along Great Northern Way. The heavier industrial uses, incompatible with residential, make up the majority of the False Creek flat zoning. Limited public transportation infrastructure currently exists in this area. The Expo and Millennium Skytrain lines provide service with two stations at either end of the district. Bus service is only available on selected routes. Expansion of transit to this area is proposed. Railway lines provide unique challenges to developing this area. Terminal Avenue is an east-west corridor through the flats. However, a north-south connection does not exist. There are three possible locations for these routes. However, rail lines currently prevent this access. The main and terminal precinct has the potential to become a gateway between urban and industrial zones. A car-free infrastructure can be developed to provide pedestrian and cycling routes through the False Creek Flats, reinforcing a human scale to the area. With its close proximity to the Strathcona residential community, this is the greenest and most culturally diverse precinct in the False Creek Flats. The potential for this zone is to provide a filter from industrial to residential and to reinforce the diversity already present. The character of the Rocky Mountaineer precinct is defined by the existing rail lines and station. The precinct marks the transition from a major industrial foundation to a modern development, creating a cultural place with opportunities for growth. The Great Northern Way Precinct acts as the border between the residential community of Mount Pleasant and False Creek Flats. With the addition of the new Emily Carr Campus, the area has the potential to emerge as a major cultural hub linking the industrial and residential zones. The Glen Drive Precinct has the potential to link the north and south. The development of Malkin Avenue into an east-west arterial presents opportunities to bring an influx of business, culture and diversity into the False Creek Flats. 